Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanzina. I am a mum of a 10 month old baby and that's it. <laughs> that's what it feels like anyways. Um, I used to make a lot of beauty content and I used to want to share like vlogs and stuff like that but I've I've just had an awful time balancing it all but I'm back today and I'm not going to say that I'm going to create loads of videos now because I probably will say that and then I won't follow it through. Oh my god this introduction is so long. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. This video is going to be a makeup tutorial so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and like and comment and all of those things please and it'll keep me motivated to create more videos but today's going to be a chatty get ready with me and it's my go to mum glam. Okay, let me show you how I store my makeup since becoming a mum in a Ziploc bag. Basically these freezer bags are my go-to for keeping my makeup in it, I can see it all and I don't know, it just ended up in one of these and it's just stayed in one of these. I'm going to start off by prepping my skin. I really like using a serum or an oil because my skin is really, really dry. And I really like this serum. This is the L'Occitane Immortel Reset. It's like a serum with oil particles in it. So it's like the best of both worlds. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my skin. In. So my current go-to lip balm is this one from Burt's B, if it focuses. Um, my lips are so dry, um, they were dry before, if I'm honest. Mom has it. Being a mum hasn't made a difference. They're just always dry, so I like to apply this and it makes lipstick application a lot easier. So when I first like had Aria, I wasn't really wearing as much makeup as I used to in the beginning. And I'll be honest, like it made me feel really unattractive. I actually forgot like the power of makeup, if that makes sense. Like it just makes you feel so much better, even if you're not like going out or anything like that. So I'm starting to wear a little bit more makeup now. It's making me feel a lot better. Going in with the Anastasia brow powder um, and filling in my brows. So another thing I think that made me feel a lot more unattractive and less confident in myself was A, wearing a hijab, as like as nice as it is to wear that and I'm wearing it for the right reasons. I'll be honest, like it was a massive change because I put on so much weight after giving birth and then my hair, which I obviously used for vanity purposes, was now hidden away. So yeah, I felt really like unattractive not having my hair to make me look a little bit prettier and then I made the decision to grow out my brows again for the right reasons for Islamic reasons um, and I think having like your brows not done also makes you feel not so pretty if that makes sense. Don't know about you guys like and maybe if you have a little bit more time on your hands but I just stopped doing my hair like I'd brush it and that's it so it's like always frizzy and tied up in a bun at home so even though my hair isn't covered up at home, I'm not straightening it like I used to um, and you know making myself presentable so my husband, poor guy, must have been like who is this hideous yeti that I'm living with and what happened to my wife? For cleaning up under my brows I'm using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in the shade SX08 and I love this pot of magic, honestly I've been using the same pot for a very long time, it's probably like out of date and I should buy myself a new one but um, yeah since like doing my brows even though I'm not plucking them I feel like makeup just makes you look like you've done them anyway so it's not that bad if you wear makeup so you just cleaned it up very nicely so my favourite, favourite palette for eyeshadow right now is this one. This is the Naked Petite Heat, the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat, and it's got these beautiful six shades, some lighter ones, and then some orangey ones, and then a darker warm toned brown here, and I feel like I use this like pretty much every single time I do my makeup. That combined with this stunning, stunning eyeshadow. It's called Shuffle the Cards from Topshop and it's pretty much always sold out. My lovely friend Safia picked this up for me um, and it's just this beautiful like, duochrome. You'll see what I mean when I apply it. Yeah, while I do this, I thought I'd tell you guys that if you don't know already, or you probably do know because you've seen a few of my older videos hopefully, but I moved into my new property in June this year, but then I went abroad to Canada with my daughter which was absolutely amazing and we came back to this house we've slowly slowly started getting it together um, we literally just bought the dining table so we had like two 
stools in our bar stools in our kitchen and that was it like when guests came over they didn't really have anywhere to sit and um, we haven't ordered our sofas yet we've ordered actually sofas for one room now um, we need to order sofas for the main living room um, so yeah we're slowly getting settled in I really really thought that I'd be like completely settled in by now uh, especially considering that I will be going back to work early next year so that's like only in like two months time but I've also accepted that these things take time you can't rush it I'd rather take the time and buy the right things that we want to buy rather than rushing it and then regretting it and we, we made that mistake already like we bought the dining table we, which we rushed and then we're like okay we don't want it anymore so we lost out because we had to return it and then buy a more expensive one so I've learned my lesson like financially it makes sense to wait and then buy what you actually want to buy just adding a dark color in now to the corner of my eyes and then also i think the corner inner corner of my eye too so the only reason why i'm able to make this video for you guys now which is absolutely amazing is because my daughter's asleep and i've been sleep training her now for two whole weeks and it's been pretty life-changing like it's been absolutely amazing how much of my life has already changed just through sleep training because now she sleeps through the night for about 11 hours and then like you know sometimes she might stir and cry a little bit but most nights she's sleeping through for 11 hours and during the day she's having naps that lasting like an hour to two hours and she would never nap longer than half an hour and I'd never be able to sit down and do anything. Literally, I'd literally put her to bed and it'd take me ages to rock her and put her down and then I'd come downstairs and by the time I've come downstairs and literally just rested for two seconds, she's awake again. And it was just so constant. It was exhausting me. Like, I didn't realise, but it was definitely exhausting me and I missed myself, if that makes sense. I love, love, love being around her, but I was losing my identity by not having any free time to do things for myself that didn't include just chores like making this video like this feels absolutely amazing talking to the camera I go in and add that duochrome to the center of my eyelid it's got these beautiful like glitters in it in the light it's like gold and pink oh, it's just so stunning my inner corner highlight I'm just using the Ambrisi eye no not eye highlighter I'm just applying that right there. Liquid eyeliner, I am using the collection one from Zoodrug. I've been using this for years and I love it. And for pencil liner, I am using the NYX one. Um, I'm running really low on it actually. I'm waiting for Black Friday, which is in a couple of days, to stock up on this. Hopefully Cult Beauty have a sale on and I can buy this cheaper. We'll come back to mascara later after like the eyeliner and everything has dried and now I'm going to do my concealer. So again I'm using the same concealer that I used for under my brows. I am using the Kevin Aquan one when I find the brush. What else can I update you guys on? Oh I need to start planning my daughter's birthday so that's in January and I'm hopefully having something really intimate like just family um, and really 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 close friends that probably live locally. I'm not making a big thing. Um, and it will be at her house but I need to start planning it because I'd like to have it a little bit pretty so I don't know maybe I need like a balloon installation I need props I need flowers I want to make it really nice I'm gonna cater it because I'm not gonna put the stress of making stuff on my head I might um, make some desserts myself so I've got discoloration around my lips like around this area which is very common for like Asian girls I think so I need to find like a product that works really well to kill that discoloration currently I've been putting a little bit of concealer on but I don't think it really makes that much of a difference it's mainly just around here um, a little bit here there I don't think concealer cuts it. so please let me know what you guys use for cancelling out discoloration I'm thinking of doing LVL lashes again and I've actually done it to myself, like I know how to do LVL lashes to myself without having to pay for it. Um, so I was thinking if you guys would like to see how I do my own LVL lashes for so much cheaper than in the stores or in the salons, then let me know and I will aim to get that 
filmed when I do my lashes. It'll have to be like a late evening one day when my daughter's asleep. So the eyes are done, the concealer is done, now for foundation. So my go-to foundation is the MAC um, Studio Fix Fluid in NC30. You probably can't see that. There you go. Um, and I absolutely love it. I use a tiny little bit and it's so nice. But my lovely friend Sakia gave me the Fenty Beauty um, the Hydrating Foundation. It's a hydrating long wear foundation and my shade is, I believe, the shade 310. So let's try that. I did try it the other day and I wasn't really sure how I felt about it. So let's give it another whirl today. Just putting a little bit at the back of my hand. I don't actually wear too much foundation. Um, I like how it makes my skin look all uniform. Um, and that's it basically. That's the reason why I wear foundation. Is that the reason why everybody wears foundation? Okay, let's do this. What do you guys think? How's this colour on me? I don't think it's too bad. I think it's alright. I like how it's blending in. It's a little bit orange, I think, for me. Yeah, it's a little bit orange. Yeah, definitely around my nose, it's too orange. But I think the rest of my face is okay. What are you guys thinking? Does that look good on me? Please leave me a comment so I know because I haven't really used that many foundations in my life. I've only used like a few properly. So my foundation game isn't that good. What do you think? Do you like this foundation? I think I like it. I like how it looks right now. Um, just a little bit orange around my nose, but I'm going to go in with my concealer and lighten that up a little bit. That's better. What do you think? Do you like it? Does it look too light for me? Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to be showing my neck. Oops. So for contour, which I definitely need now with my chubby hamster cheeks, I use the Fenty Matchstick in the shade Mocha, which I really like. It looks like this, it's quite a cool toned brown. Oh, I swear guys, like my body doesn't look that bad, but I swear my face is like a humongous pumpkin. Like I have not lost any weight on my face. I've sort of like calmed down with the weight loss journey. I think I'm starting to feel a lot more confident in myself again. Um, not fully like how I was before, but a lot better. And that's making me like less motivated to lose the weight. I just had McDonald's right now. <laughs> Hence the fat face. Um, but I'll be going back to work at the end of January, I think, uh, maybe February. And I've got a gym there and I'm, I guess I'll be moving around a lot more there. So maybe it'll be a little bit easier next year to lose the weight. Right, highlights. Highlighter, I'm using the Amrezy one, which is so hard to get because it, it does get released again, but then I think it's still like limited edition when it does get released. But it is really lovely. Can you see? Highlight on fleek. Is that a thing? Do people still say that? But they do now. And then for my blush, I've literally been using this sample that I got years ago. This is from NARS. This is the Orgasm blush. And I like it. I hardly, hardly, hardly ever wear anything on my lips nowadays because I just want to be able to kiss my baby or not think about transferring stuff onto her when she like grabs my lips when she's feeding and stuff like that. But I will for you guys today. I'm going in with the World Lip Liner. And for liquid lipstick, I have this one by Beauty Bakery and it's the only one that I have found ever to not like budge off easily at all. Like I can kiss Aria with this and it won't come onto her, it won't transfer. So this is the shade Surruptious and it's this lovely like pinky tone and I absolutely love it. I will be buying more of these on the sale if it goes on sale because I love this. I have it in a few different colours. This is a red. I also have a um, very light shade that doesn't suit me called Fortune Cookie and then I have another one called I think Take Me to 
raspberry or something like that which is like a hot pink which is nice i have another one called ginger snap and i love that shade and i can't find it it's like a very orangey shade um, and i don't think that other shades suit me i think they're like too light for me so that's a shame but um yeah i'll definitely be picking these up in the sale so this is my glam mum makeup look i really hope you guys like it and liked me like waffling um i don't really do many well, I never really used to do very many chatty get ready with me's. So, yeah, I really hope you guys liked it. Please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And, yeah, tell, my, tell your friends about me. Tell them about this girl who um, hardly ever comes on YouTube to post a video and pops up every now and then. Make sure you like the video because I think that helps with YouTube algorithm and makes people, like, check me out and helps me grow. So make sure you do that and I will speak to you guys next time. Bye!